All right, so what you saw there was kind of the easy to make version. And then as you saw in this video, I also made a kind of a more cyberpunk version with some old PCBs. Use the same exact same technology pretty much, but instead of passing it along from the Adafruit uh, Circuit Playground Express to the uh, addressable strip, these um, LEDs are actually individual NeoPixels. So each one of these is fastened to a PCB that I had before, and it works the same way, just kind of looks a little bit cooler. So yeah, you can see it, all the lights go off, and then these top, they're not even populated, but that's gonna be kind of around the back. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, you know, it just runs off this uh, lipstick style battery, has the circuits along with that, and it's got a built in microphone, so it all works out pretty well. You know, it was easy enough to build since I had these circuit boards lying around, so it's cool to make some use of them. The PCBs used here were originally made as part of my JC Pro Macro project by this video sponsor, PCB Way. While they weren't used for their original purpose, they look great and still function even several years later. Here I'm passing a signal into the first WS2812B addressable LED on the board, which then passes a signal on to the second LED, onto the third and fourth. The fourth is then connected electrically to the next PCB, which then continues the cycle until the chain of lights is finished. Of course, I'm not using a Pro Micro board here. Instead, I'm using a Circuit Playground Express programmed in CircuitPython. Coded some links as well as a print file for my custom battery slash board mount. Well, this print's coming along nicely. Some little file work. Come on. Ah. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. First try, right? So the idea is that I can sew this on as the base of this and then it'll power these, these the next few boards. So have all kinds of lights. Should, should look pretty cool once it's done. First off, this is looking a little too bright to fit in with the rest of the uh, dark motif, just kind of cyberpunk worn motif of everything else. So a little, uh, little black spray paint should, should fix that. All right, it's time to put the rest of these together so I can make a LED chain out of these. Probably the most difficult thing will be actually soldering onto these WS2812B LEDs. Basically, I gotta make this connection here, so I'm gonna use some hot glue as kind of like a, kind of like a holder. Actually, I guess I'll be, I'll be doing it right there. So you can see I've kind of done that with the other, the other two. So I'll just have to complete that chain and we'll see how it works. So the idea is that I hold this in, in there with the hot glue and then that'll provide a good place for me to solder onto it. And it'll hold it later so it won't pull off. It's kind of a tedious procedure and I, I do wish I put some sort of output pin on this, but live and learn, right? Put this fan on here to cool it off a little faster.
So in theory, with this wired like this, I should be able to jump one LED from one to another. So that's eight PCBs, four LEDs per each PCB, and uh, so you got 32 lights that should light up. So inputs here, outputs there, and then you got five volts, five volts, and then ground. Should light up. The only thing left to do is to test it, I suppose. So you can see here that as the noise level goes up, this is blinking. So in theory, if I hook this up the same way, this should do the same thing just over these 32 LEDs. So we'll see if this, see if this works or not. Ground voltage input. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Oh, dot, 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 dot. Okay, it's going up to, woo, going up to here, but not to there. So something's not hooked up correctly. I guess we'll have to figure that out. So it seems like it's this one right here. So, woo, woo. Maybe I'll put a little more solder on there and uh, secure it. So I added some flux on here, and let's just add a little solder on here. Test. Test, test, uh, woo, 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 woo. Looks like it'll work pretty well. I'm sure the neighbors think I'm crazy by now. Woo. With that tested out, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it to this guitar strap. I may sew it later, but this is gonna keep it at least in place somewhat. I've got basically eight slices of these for 32 lights, but on the back, I'm gonna go ahead and put these blank circuit boards so that it, you know, kind of, kind of fills it out a little bit, even though maybe people won't want to view, view the back per se. Still, it'll kind of complete the sort of bandolier type look to it. A little easier to glue stuff when you're not having to worry about the wires. It certainly works with just um, the alligator clips. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more secure if you if you solder it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Just to keep it extra secure, you can use a little hot glue as well. demonstrate it for us what do you think uh, I'm, I'm uh, not much that better I'm still considered myself or I consider myself a hack but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go What do you think? Uh, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome.